What's up folks, how's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. For the past couple of years now, all-in-one liquid coolers are probably one of the most popular PC cooling uh, solutions out there, especially for people that like to do a little bit overclocking. And certainly the benefits are many. They're usually really simple and straightforward to set up, come with a uh, affordable price tag, but there's uh, been some lack of innovation for the past couple of years since the products were first introduced. But uh, Cooler Master is kind of upping their game in this category with the brand new Master Liquid Pro series of all-in-one coolers. We're going to be taking a look at the 240 millimeter radiator version, but you can also get a 120 millimeter version if you so desire for a more compact solution. Now, Cooler Master claims with these new coolers, they're actually bringing some of the elements that you find in the DIY custom water cooling community. Now, by looking at the water block and uh, pump unit, you can see that it's a lot larger than a typical all-in-one uh, solutions. Uh, basically, you have an upper chamber and a lower chamber. Now these two different compartments allow for a couple of different benefits. Firstly, you can now separate the cold liquid coming into the water block and make sure that the hot liquid that's making surface contact with the actual CPU does not come back up and start mixing with the colder liquid, thereby decreasing the efficiency, which is a common problem with a lot of these water blocks. Additionally, the pump moves the coolant from the upper chamber directly at the center of the water block, which in turn should be quicker and more effective for heat dissipation. Furthermore, many of the uh, sensitive and vital components are actually located on the upper cooler portion of the unit, uh, which may increase the life expectancy of all the sensitive components and the entire cooling unit itself. Apart from some of those functional aspects, I kind of like the design of uh, this water block uh, unit. It basically has a kind of a clear, transparent finish, and there's a little blue LED light uh, that highlights uh, the Cooler Master logo logo, which definitely looks cool when it's installed in your system. Now at closer glance, the radiator is actually a little bit different than traditional radiators out there. Uh, firstly, you can see that there is a fine rectangular uh, shaped patterns on the fins. Traditionally, you find a more uh, triangular pattern and uh, Cooler Master says that they went with this design because it increases the overall surface area and also lowers the resistance uh, for better airflow. And later on, we're going to take a look at some benchmark results to see whether any of this actually helps in decreasing your temps. Now this unit also comes with the brand new Master Fan Pro Air Balance 120 millimeter fans from Cooler Master. They're high static pressure fans that use a silent driver, which is the same sort of technology used in the pump in the water block unit itself. And that should give the fans a little bit of an edge in terms of acoustic performance and also lowering the overall vibrations emitted from the motors. Furthermore, all the mounting points of the fans have a nice uh, vibration reducing uh, rubber mounting points. There's also a rubber gasket that goes in between the radiator and the fans themselves all in the hopes of uh, reducing any auxiliary vibrations even further. Now installing the uh, Master Liquid Pro coolers is very simple and straightforward. Basically you take the back plate for both Intel and AMD sockets and uh, feed it right through your PCB and mount the water block slash pump unit with the included hardware directly onto that back plate and you also get some uh, thermal compound from Cooler Master, which is definitely a nice touch. Now here we did a little test on the uh, noise difference from uh, 7.5 volts to 12 volts, which is full fan power and uh, not too bad at all. Not the quietest cooler ever, but 33 decibels on uh, the 7.5 volts and about 51 decibels with the fan set to full 12 volt power. The uh, thing that I really like is that there's really no low vibration noise, uh, as we mentioned, because of the fans and the radiator is so heavily dampened but uh, more importantly the pump unit is actually fairly quiet it's barely audible and at times you can hear a faint noise of water being uh, pumped through the water block but probably around 95 percent of the noise is generated through the fans now let's finally take a look at some of the temperature results for both our overclock settings and uh, factory clock settings. We're going to be basically using an Intel 6700K processor and uh, as you can see uh, I threw in some other coolers into the mix just to give you guys a comparison between what's out there in the market in terms of similar coolers. So we're going to be taking a look at the Corsair 100i GTX which is a little bit of a lower end cooler and uh, the NZXT Kraken X61 which 
which is an excellent all-in-one liquid cooling solution. And what you're looking at over here is our temperature readouts for the 6700K at stock frequencies and also overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz with a core voltage set to 1.344 volts. And in both scenarios, you can see our 240 master liquid pro coolers doing a great job in most scenarios, uh, one to two temps uh, better than even the NZXT Kraken X61 and definitely better than the 100i GTX. So nothing earth shattering, but uh, as you can see, there's a marginal difference and some people who are into extreme overclocking might go for the Cooler Master uh, compared to some of the other all-in-one coolers uh, because there's definitely a thermal advantage based on our tests. But really on that guys, that's really it. A big thank you to you guys for watching our video, supporting our channel and giving us the opportunity to make these reviews possible. Definitely want to give a big shout out to Cooler Master for helping us make this video. Without them, this video wouldn't be possible. But besides all that stuff, that's really it. I definitely check out the links in the description down below for related videos. We actually put out a video talking about all the different type of PC coolers that are out there and what's right for you. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. But that's really it for this video. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you later. Take care.